Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm going to show you how to make three different versions of alternative milks that are super simple and easy. Because it's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. Okay, we're going to start with our nut milks. We're going to make a cashew milk, an almond milk, and a banana milk, something you probably haven't heard of. But we're going to start with our cashews. And I just have a half a cup of raw cashews here. And really for making nut milks, it is best to soak your nuts overnight, but I'm just gonna show you a quick and easy version. Just gonna put that in there. And two cups of water. So we're gonna blend this on high for about a minute and then I'll show you the milk. Okay, first milk is ready. If you can see that, mm -mm -mm. it looks so creamy and delicious. And what I have here, I have uh, just a glass measuring cup. It just needs to be some type of cup that's a little bit larger than your quantity. And I have a nut milk, nut milk bag, because I'm gonna strain this just in case there's any sediment left um, so that we still have really creamy nut milk. But you don't have to strain it if you don't want to. You can leave the Leave all of that pulp in there. Super nutritious to eat. But for this, it may not ha actually have any pulp left. We're just gonna strain it anyway. Wow, you can just see how smooth and creamy that is coming out. Amazing. Okay, there we are. And if you can see, there's hardly any pulp left. So I'm gonna rinse these out quick and then we'll go on to the almond milk. Okay, now we're ready for the almond milk. So we have the same amount of almonds, just half a cup of almonds, two cups of water, and we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna blend it on high for about one minute and I'll show you the almond milk. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to invite you to click the subscribe button and then the little bell notification so that you can get notified every time we put out a new show here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our growing line of printable cookbooks, guides, and apparel. We also offer free and paid memberships on our community website. And last but not least, be sure to head over to our official website at plantbasedcookingshow.com to browse through hundreds of original recipes, tips, and resources on plant-based living. Okay, back to the show. Okay, there's our almond milk. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna strain this out because the almond milk is gonna have just a little bit more of the pulp in it. And if you want these milks to be a little bit sweeter, you can always add a date or two to it, but you need to do this first. You strain out the pulp first and then put it back in the blender and blend again. Okay, there you go. If you can see, there is a bit more almond pulp, pulp left. And what I do is I put this in a baggie in my freezer or a Tupperware, keep it in the freezer, and then I add it to baked goods like a banana bread or something like that to give it a little extra nutrition. Uh, or I, you can add it to your oatmeals in the morning. It's super delicious. I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna do a quick rinse of my blender and then we're on to the banana milk. Okay, now we're on to the banana milk, which is something you've probably never heard of before, right? Um, I just experimented with this a little bit and I found that if you use frozen bananas, um, I just peel the bananas and chunk them up in little chunks so that they blend really easily and freeze them overnight and then we can use them for milk. So this is just one banana. Same thing, our two cups of water. But this one for sure you don't need to sweeten because your bananas are going to be super sweet. And that's another tip, you need to wait till you're you should always wait till your bananas are starting to get just a little bit spotted. That's when all of that nice, rich sweetness comes out. So we're just gonna blend this again in another minute. Okay, voila, banana milk. 
And the good thing about the banana milk is that you don't need to strain it. You want to leave all of that fiber in there. So this is delicious on cereal in the morning or, you know, put it over your oatmeal in the morning. It is so creamy and delicious. Look at that. Three alternative milks. And you can also make oat milk. And I have a show for that. If you want to check that out over here, you can go and watch that show. So these, uh, the two nut milks will last in the fridge for three to four days, but the banana milk will only last for a day, maybe two days. On your second day, it's probably going to be not as, as clear of a color as this. It's probably going to get a little bit brown, um, but it'll still be good. It'll still, still be fine to eat. So I want to also make a shout out to Claude. He's one of our young viewers out there. Hi, Claude. I hope you try out these milks. I'm going to try the banana milk. Mmm. Mmm. It's so light and sweet. Mmm. You're going to love it. And I'll see you next time.